to Mighty Martin. He has one of the most amazing stories in league, and not just league, in sport in 2022. From a brain bleed in 2019, and now he is back in the NRL. He is joining us on the show this afternoon. To Mighty, kia ora. First of all, thank you for joining us, man. Yeah, kia ora, boys. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. So, <laughs> Bro, so you, you played two games now. There's, there's two wins uh, for the Broncos over the last couple of weeks. Are you the lucky charm? No, nah, nah, definitely not. Um, we've just played played better footy the last two weeks. I think we played Penrith um, before we got on this um, two-win streak. We played Penrith and just lost to the Roosters and got a bit of a hiding from Warriors, but... In all those games, he played pretty well. We, got, we took little things out of those games. In the first half, and Penrith, who at the top of the table at the moment, a pretty good side. Mm -hmm. um, it was pretty close in the first half, and we took took what we could from that first half into to these last few games, and, and and done pretty good, pretty good from it. So, um, I think everyone's just learning uh, new combinations, <laughs> pain hard doing pain hard stuff, but everything's been everything's been rolling pretty good, and, and the combinations are getting better. So. Just uh, a flow and effect from, from that. Oh, awesome. Oh, well, to my dear, before I get um, professional, <laughs> I'm going hey, I'm to ask for every female in the world oh. and probably some males like Brooke. Probably are me you too. Single? <laughs> nah, nah, I've got a missus here. Oh, oh, oh he's not going to walk off now. <laughs> uh, no, not for me, I support everyone, for friends. And you're off. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, so I know you played club here. My man's played for. Um, Tigers. Up with uh, it. <laughs> no, played for Tigers back here. Did that help your transition into NRL? Yeah, it did. I had to. Well, I had my first first year off fully, done nothing, and, and played a little bit of club footy for my hometown Taro in the, the Waikato comp. And um, it just sort of opened up the door because I got to um, play a game for Waikato against um, Wellington Orcas, and um, that sort of just sort of opened the door because my manager. And a few people seen it on TV and seen I could still play, run around and, and get the head knocked without anything too serious. So sort of opened up the door and, and, and Broncos um, gave me an opportunity. So I sort of took it with two hands and it's all been go from me. Tamari, um, mm. I, I guess the, my question is to you is, uh, how's, the, how's the mental preparation? Because you've come back from this massive... Um, this, this problem that you had, the brain bleed, and obviously that's, you know, it's massive. Anytime you get any knocks to the head, it, it's a big problem. But how have you been able to overcome, I guess, the, the fear? And how have you gone into... Because I think you've been playing mean for the Broncos. And like Brooke said, I think you're the lucky charm as well, bro. <laughs> um, just baby steps, to be honest, bro. I started all again. Um, like I said, I played for, for my hometown back in Taro. Played a couple games. And, um, as you know, that the level's a bit... But differently, you know, probably make about <laughs> two tackles, <laughs> two tackles a game. But um, you know, it just starts there, and, and then you do the preseason stuff. And Larry, out of everyone, I think you'd know how how tough preseason is. It's not just running; it's it's the defensive stuff. And once you do that every day, um, get the body back into it. It sort of um, just comes second nature, really. You get get your confidence back, get a few whacks at training, and and you're away again. So um, I, I won't lie; the the first game that I had um, was actually that trial against Wynnum and. I haven't been so nervous before. I played in the GF with, with cows that time, and I thought I was nervous then. But yeah, I was super nervous um, coming back after after that head knock. But um, once once I sort of got my first run out of the way, my first tackle, um, everything's gone back to normal. And all it is now is getting my my game fitness back. Because um, like I said, the the level back home wasn't as quick as NRL, as you'd know. But um, yeah, just getting the game game fitness back because there's a lot of stuff that um, I want to do, but the, the old legs can't can't keep up at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you've you've played with um, Jonathan Thurston, one of the, one of the Queensland greats. Um, what was that like, and how does Adam Reynolds, uh, with his organisation skills, compare to that at the moment at the Broncos? Um, they're both pretty similar, but they they know how to steer a team around around the field pretty well. They're always calm. You, you never... I've only played two the two games with Reno, but the two games that I've played with him, he's just been super calm. And, and JT was the same. They play what's in front of them, but um, they don't they don't try and do too much. They let the board you know, do the talking and and really know how to get their outside players one-on-ones. And it, it's sort of the... You know, you're not going to make line breaks every, every game. So it's more about getting them one-on-ones and, 
and Reno and JT are, are, are pretty good at doing that because all eyes are on them. They're such such good players that everyone wants to try and take their heads off. It makes makes space on the outside a lot better for for those outside runners. And um, yeah, it's, I've played with some with some pretty pretty good players, and, and they're up there, sort of. You know, they're pretty close to you, Larry. <laughs> hey, Tamari, I, I, it's, a, it's a story and a half, man. I feel like Taika might be knocking on your door soon as the origin of some great movie that is going to come and it's going to be about you. Is it surreal at the moment? Because I know there was a point where you probably thought you're never going to play rugby league again, let alone to the level that you're playing at to be back with the Broncos. So like this moment, and you've played a couple games and you've got a couple wins, how, how are you feeling at the moment? Is it a bit of a blur? You're trying to live in the moment? It's, it's just it's trying to be present? How are you feeling at the moment? Yeah, I'm just sort of taking it all in at the moment. I before the head knock, I sort of just went through the motions, um, just playing first grade. I was just yeah, I was happy to be there, but I wasn't um, really taking it all in as I should have. And getting that head knock and, and having the game taken away from me sort of helped me because I I, I take everything. Um, I, I'm really grateful for everything. I must learn like everything like training. You get to go to training every day. You get to go to the gym, which people probably pay for. You get to run around. Um, you know, our longer stays, uh, you know, they stop at, at 1 o'clock, and that's, that only drags up to 1 o'clock because you have to get, have massage. You know, you, you sort of don't get – you don't appreciate that as much yeah. until it's taken away from you. So just at the moment, I'm, I'm taking it all in because um, I suppose if anyone knows how quick the game can be taken away from you, it's me. So at the moment, I'm just sort of soaking it all in and, and taking it step by step. That's amazing because that links on to what I was going to ask about the reasons, reasoning why you would make it back. But um, I thought I'd just quickly ask, do you actually still run Broncos in the Broncos? Because <laughs> we get put through that. So I wanted to know if that actually is a thing. No, we, we haven't any. Um, we don't. Uh, well, we haven't this year. We, um, they do the yo-yos. So oh, yeah, I hate those I two. I'll, I'll What's probably, your yo-yo school yeah. quickly? Um, not very good. <laughs> this is bro. We would have believed you. Not tell us anything. 19-something, you reckon? Well, hey. well Bro, bro, you're getting Payne, um, Payne Hass and, yeah. and Paddy Carrigan, which are two big forwards, and they're, and they're almost getting 20, which Holy shows man. how freakish they are, man, because they're 100 and whatever kilos, and, and they're yeah. doing, they're beating all the outside backs and the halves. So <laughs> hey. shows how shows how, how freaky those fellas are. Blair, you would have been in the 21s or something, wouldn't you? Yeah, bro, hard out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I was challenging um, Darius Boyd to beat him. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. him and I just head for head at, for that, that finish line, cuss. Yeah, yeah, ultimate competitor. <laughs> That's the one, my bro. Hey, Tamayde, thank you so much for joining us on the show this afternoon. Cough twice if you're going to play for the Warriors next year. <laughs> blink, blink, blink. Just blink. Well, you should have hey, said laugh. Just blink. Laugh. <laughs> laugh. <laughs> laugh. <laughs> laugh if you're going to play. <laughs> yeah, bro, it's awesome to blink. see you back out there, bro. Inspiration, honestly. And good luck to you and the Broncos for the rest of the season, man. Yeah, kia ora, boys and girls. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>